Las Vegas, Nevada is known for a lot of things. I think one of the one of my favorite quirks of Las Vegas is uh, not the motto, but um, it's the Elvis Presley impersonators, right? You ever seen those? Or maybe you just watched them, or if you're a Full House fan from back in the day, Uncle Jesse would always dress up like Elvis Presley. And Elvis Presley is a phenomenal character in the history of our nation. And he almost has these different eras, you know? Like when he was first in the Ed Sullivan show, then when he started starring in movies, and oh, 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 and then you get him like in his later years where he's a little bit bigger and he's wearing like the white with the little scarf and he's throwing it to people. You know, much more of the Viva Las Vegas kind of Elvis Presley. And and what I think is funny in all of that is, is to watch people who impersonate Elvis Presley. And if I told you right now that I was going to impersonate Elvis Presley, there's a thousand things I could do, especially because he's got so many different eras. You know, I could do like the big hair thing where he's got that and... Uh, or maybe I do the big white suit. And absolutely though, if I said, I want you to imitate Elvis Presley, and then I gave you a line to say, and the line was, thank you, thank you very much. No one who's worth their salt, who would ever claim to impersonate Elvis Presley would ever see that line without going, thank you, thank you very much. Right, and I can't really do the lip thing. He like little, he like raises his lip, and I can't really do that, but, but that's exactly what it means to imitate him. Like if I walked in, to your, let's say you had like a birthday party and you hired an Elvis impersonator and I showed up. And you were like, all right, it's time for you to impersonate Elvis. And I walked in and I was like, hey, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for hiring me. Um, as you can see, I am Elvis Presley. Um, I am wearing a corduroy uh, jumpsuit today. You would go, no, that's not Elvis. No, that's not, you're not a good imitator of Elvis. Here's what Ephesians 5 says. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So the Bible says, think about Elvis and what it would mean to impersonate him. And if you wanted to walk around, and I wanted you to know that I was really, really into Elvis, right? There's a lot of things I could do. There's a lot of ways I could dress. There's a lot... But there are also ways that I could dress and things that I could say that would be very non-Elvis, right? Like if I wore a modern day outfit or if I wore like a, um, a Dodgers jersey, right? Like that's kind of my team. But if I wore a Dodgers jersey, I'm like, look, I'm Elvis. Everyone would go, what does that have to do with anything? In the same way, this idea of giving when it comes to the Christian life, this is what scripture says, Ephesians chapter 5. Therefore, be imitators of God. So it says when you walk around, I want you to impersonate God. Which is problematic that if, if, if any of us, and I know that I can fall into this category so often, if we lack in our generosity, the Bible says, I want you to be an imitator of God. And here's what, here's what the Bible says about God's generosity. It says, teach those who are rich in the present age not to be conceited with their wealth or to put hope in the uncertainty of wealth, but in, rather put their faith in God, who richly provides all things for us to enjoy. The book of Psalms says that God has cattle on a thousand hilltops. Our God is rich and he lovingly and generous, generously gives to those. And, and it seems like out of just an abundance of who he is. And then if the Bible says for me to be an imitator of God like Elvis, it means that I need to act like he acts. And I do a bad job of impersonating him when he lavishly gives to all of us his grace and his love and all the fruitful things of life and family and friends and, and, and sunshine and life. And yet I turn around and I'm stingy with my finances or I'm stingy with my time. I'm stingy with my energy. I'm not being a very good imitator. It would be like walking in and going, guys, look at me. I'm acting like Jesus, except that I expect you to serve me and I expect you to, and I'm going to take from you and I'm not going to sacrifice for you. We would be bad Jesus impersonators. Just like a bad Elvis impersonator would say, thank you. Thank you very much. So would a bad Jesus impersonator be stingy with their finances or not giving generously with their time, talent, energy, resources, and money? Let us be imitators of God's generosity.